Now, how do I diagnose this trigeminal neuralgia? Good doctors do not understand. Patients are ah, eating, chewing, brushing, talking, swallowing, breeze of air can cause trigeminal neuralgia. Today, I am going to talk about trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is a type of a facial pain, a pain occurring on one half of the face. There are several facial pains, but trigeminal neuralgia is the commonest of the facial pain. And many times it has been misled or misdiagnosed initially as tooth pain. And many of my patients I have found out have undergone several dental procedures before they will end up getting correct diagnosis. So today let us break all these concerns or misunderstandings or lack of understanding about trigeminal neuralgia. So as I said, trigeminal neuralgia is a facial pain and it originates from the fifth nerve of the brain. There are 12 nerves in the brain and the fifth nerve of the brain is responsible for the sensations to the face and that is causing trigeminal neuralgia. There are three divisions of the fifth nerve, one, two and three and you can roughly put your finger like that and it will cover the three division. This is three, V3, V means fifth, Roman V. V3, V2, V1. So, depending on the area of your pain, the doctor tells you that you are suffering from V2 or V3 trigeminal neuralgia. Now, how do I diagnose this trigeminal neuralgia? And this is where even good doctors do not understand. There is a different kind of pain and all facial pains are not trigeminal neuralgia. But anybody listening to video, this video will be able to understand this very clearly and especially if he's, he or she is suffering from the pain, then she would be able to directly relate. First of all, the characteristic of trigeminal neuralgia is that it's a shock-like pain. Patients say, ah, ah. Second, there are triggers. Eating, chewing, brushing, talking, swallowing, breeze of air can cause trigeminal neuralgia. So there has to be a trigger, there has to be pain, then it has to be distribution of the trigeminal nerve. It cannot be here. It cannot be here. It cannot be here. Because that is where the trigeminal nerve doesn't go. Trigeminal nerve goes here, here, here. It can go in the front of the ear, but not behind the ear. So if your point pain is behind the ear, it's not trigeminal neuralgia. Fourth, it is noted by exacerbation and remission. So patients say that, okay, sir, I was suffering from trigeminal neuralgia for three months after taking medicine it has subsided and for two years I was normal then it has again come back. So exacerbation and remission and the last the patient should not have any neurological deficit. So there should not be skewing of the face, there should not be hearing loss, there should not be any neurological deficit. So if you have this characteristic then it is trigeminal neuralgia, if it is not then it is not trigeminal neuralgia. Once we have got the diagnosis correct, we don't under, need to undergo a dental root canal treatment for this because it's a trigeminal neuralgia, it's coming from the brain. So you have to treat it at the brain level and the way, only way you can treat it at the brain level is by medical treatment. The treatment of choice is carbamazepine. Carbamazepine is available in the various forms called Tagriptol, Zeptol, many many drugs are there. You can find out but carbamazepine is the ingredient or the generic form of the drug that is required for treating trigeminal neuralgia. It is the most effective and it gives fantastic relief. When the patient becomes resistant to trigeminal neuralgia or he develops side effects of medications because sometimes some patients require 600 or 800 milligram of carbamazepine and that causes a lot of difficulties in the life of the patient. Patient feels drowsy, patient feels dizzy, patient sways while walking, is unsteady. So if those side effects of carbamazepine are coming to you, then it is better for you to consider surgical option because it is very safe and very effective. So there are several surgical options, but I will talk about the two common ones. One is radio frequency thermocoagulation and second is microvascular decompression. The radio frequency thermocoagulation involves putting a needle through the angle of the mouth, going at the base of the brain and then burning the part of the nerve that is causing this trigeminal neuralgia pain. Once you have been able to effectively burn this part of the nerve, then you are able to get relief of the pain. 
The secondary point about this is that patient will get a little numbness in the area where this nerve is burnt. The second is microvascular decompression wherein the doctor goes behind the head, they make a small hole, a disc shaped hole uh, behind the ear, reach into the base of the brain and separate the nerve from the blood vessel. Both of them give you long lasting and considerable relief. For more detailed discussion about the pros and cons of this therapies, you can consult your treating doctor and he will be able to better explain.